Why hello, and welcome to another video by me, Zerger. In today's video, we'll be doing this, which is, of course, my build for an Arasaur farm. Yes. So, let me show you guys how this works, and then we build it, and things like that. Okay. So, pretty straightforward, we need vegetables. Uh, with eggs can be potatoes or any type of vegetable, so yeah, carrots, potatoes, whatever, however you want to get those, farm them yourselves, or get villagers to automate that for you. Pretty straightforward. Then we just walk up to a pair. I choose you. And we feed them. Woo! Feed, feed, feed. Feed, feed, feed. And then they should be in love. With any luck, they are not in love. They are filing for divorce. Let's try again. Feed you. Feed you. They might be in cooldown. No, they're not. And boop. There we go. They've pooped us out. A child. And they drop on down, as you can see, because he's got a smaller hitbox than these fellas. And that's basically how this works. Let's try and feed one more, because I didn't like that, that they didn't, you know, fall in love instantly. Okay, there's love in the air. And you, love in the air. Poop us out a child. There we go. Okay, he's fallen over the fence, but he's crawled back in. There we go. Might need to heighten that fence, I guess. And obviously, you guys need to light up the area because, yeah, stuff spawns and they try and kill them. So, let's get to the build now, shall we? Okay. So, I've emptied two enclosures so you guys can see what's going on in here. So, I found the dimensions of the large Arasaurs. So you'll see they come in different sizes, medium to small, they won't work, they fall through. They need to be the large ones, so just have a look out for, you know, the thick, beefy ones out there. They'll be the ones you want, and they'll fit in here exactly. This enclosure, the fence, so starting from here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then you build a wall as a divider, and then 7, 7, all 7, it's 7 by 7. Alright, <laughs> and then below here we leave one space free, these are fence gates of course, not gates, just fences, so just use fences, leave one hole here and then 7x7x7 seven by seven by seven again, so it's two layers of fences, and then you put one fence in each corner to catch them, pretty simple like that, that makes them sit in here nice and snug, and then this is just a plain old drop down, you can build this enclosure, this is like the capture point, I guess, if you want to call it that. Build this however you want. And height-wise, from here, it's one, two, three, four, five, six fence posts. So the uh, the height of this, so from there, six fence, fence posts. And then here, the seventh one is where we got this bottom layer with these little corners to catch them and keep them suspended. And then one large arasaur fits in here perfectly. And of course you put the second one here because we'll need a pair. And then afterwards we break this out. So the, this little divider, we break that out, including this bottom layer. And then we shove him over gently. Then we add one more layer here to push them like right against one another. So like this, we'll do this. See, I've removed this layer. So one more there to push them all the way against one another just to make the breeding go easier. As for this here, this is because they don't always try and breed with one next to them, which is quite annoying. <laughs> so if I were to improve this at all, I would build another divider like this, maybe here somewhere, to stop the line of sight from these, well, those two is gonna be in here, to stop the line of sight between these guys, because every now and then they make eyes for one another and they're trying to arrange a swing date and that just doesn't fly here because they're meant to be the one you know next to them right so let us have a look there's a couple of ways we can get this guy in here the first way which is the, the easiest way but you'll need one of these this is uh that name's horrible this is a quetzodactyl quetzodactyl yes so these guys are basically a bigger version of the rock, and they can move these large animals. So we obviously use that, and we go and boink, and then 
We just go, yeah. You get in there, and there you go. He's in, and there you see. Their hitboxes are quite weird, but there you can see his feet. He's standing on these little, uh, what you call it, corners, I guess. <laughs> yes, that's keeping him suspended. That is a perfect fit. Now, the other way would be, if you haven't got one of these, and these, by the way, are dragon types. So these fellas, you need dragon treats and a dragon saddle in order to use these. If you haven't got that, which is fairly understandable, then we can use a lead and just hold the carrot in our hands to try and get this guy to follow us. Like, come with me, boy. And lead. Eh. And with this combination, we should be able to pull him on up here. Come on, you can do it. Come with me, son. Come on. You can do it. Ah, oh, he's so thick. Come on. Ah, there we go. I can't see anything, but I know he's behind me. Ah. Come on. Come in here. So close. So very, very close. Come on. And they're going to need to shove him from that side, I think. No, there we go. And then we just right click, release the lead. And there we go. He's on in there. Alrighty. Now, as soon as we've got him in there, you guys have built this with a little gap in between. Then you put yourself a second layer up here. This is because I've noticed the babies, instead of popping through the bottom, they sometimes try and pop through the sides. So, build yourself a second layer there. And then... That is basically that done. You got two next to one another. Now we just need to break this in um, between them because sometimes they won't be able to get to one another. And I am probably going to whack one of them. This happens all the time because their hitbox is weird. So you break this out, leaving this little, um, which one call it? I want to say indentation. Obviously, it's like more of an extentation. Is that a word? I don't know. Anyway, the thing for them to stand on that I have created. So that is perfect. Now we need to build, as I said, one more layer here to push them towards one another. And to do that, we need to shove him over. Move! Ah, oh, that doesn't work. I need to run over to the other side to push him over because he's too thick. Move it. Get over there, big boy. Okay. Nope. Keep on going that way. I think I might be doing this on separate layers, but anyway, same, same. When it comes to symmetry, I'm willing to sacrifice. Nothing. I'm willing to sacrifice nothing for symmetry. Uh, well, except myself, I guess. Anyway, getting back in here. So that's all fine. So that is just pushing him all the way fully against this fella. Let me just set the timer. I don't want stuff spawning right now. And then, we use our uh, vegetables, feeding him again, feeding, well, him, her, whichever. Again, they should be in love mode. Hopefully, he's not targeting this one. Look at one another, please. This is why I want the divider to stop them from looking at the other allosaurs. You're a perfect match. Look at one another. Is it happening? Uh, it is not happening. Let's try again. Stop that. Come on, guys. I know you're touching one another. This is annoying. Because they're trying to get to the other Arasaurus, that's the issue. There we go. Finally. So, it costs us a couple more carrots, but that will be re... well, not repaired. That will be fixed in the future. So, if you build yourself another large fence like this across here, it's going to stop him from trying to get to these Arasaurus, or those ones. And we'll just need to leave ourselves a little bit of a hole here to kind of right-click them. But apart from that, that is that done. Let's feed another one, because it's quite fun. You there! Come on. Show us what you're made of. 
Boink! <laughs> That's so fun. <laughs> and of course, we need to light this up. So for those of you, what am I saying? For those of you who don't know, press F7, and you can see the light levels. Obviously, anything that is seven or lower stuff can spawn. So press F7, light all this up to stop them from dying horrible deaths. And then also this fence here at the bottom. So build yourself a fence, then give it two blocks at least. Build another fence around that. So fence surrounding a fence with at least two blocks in between. And that is because these um, like an eyed mobs are really weird with their hitboxes. So what will happen at night is this, as you can see, it's not very good for the health of the children. They're probably being traumatized right now, but at least they are alive. So I would recommend just, you know, paying attention to your fences as time goes on. This is a very new farm. I just built this one today. So there's bound to be some kinks that need ironing out. But apart from that, it is functional. And if you guys can get the uh, variants, I think, uh, yeah, these guys, like, you know, uh, Keppel, Russell, no, is it Keppel? Uh, I don't know. The Arasaurs, let's see. Creatures, they are beasts, are they? No, reptile, Arasaur. Let's see, I haven't got the ranks to see them, but anyway, if you guys can get the variants, I think they have a higher chance to breed, uh, to spawn, I guess, uh, a variant, and I think they give more drops and XP. I'm not quite sure, but uh, yeah, I think they give, like, Double drops or something like those lines. Don't know, not quite too sure, but in any case. So if you can find variants, pop them in here. It's always good. And let me just stop, stop this Ventor Raptor from traumatizing these guys. You there? Yeah. Stop it. Stop it. Alrighty. So yeah, just build yourselves like a fence gate here somewhere, or there somewhere, and just use any fence that you guys want. Uh, if I was you guys, I'd build another gate down here somewhere, or here, probably just, like, if it's gonna be around your base, then stuff is gonna be trying to crawl up there and use the stairs and fall over the fence. So yeah, just secure it by uh, securing the, the fence here, and obviously if there is any Lycanite event, just leave the area. And that's about that, so, as soon as they're down here, it's pretty straightforward, just come down here probably with a looting weapon and well obviously kill them you'll get the xp and the drops oh he's a tough guy and then Allah, obviously arasaur meat there is probably different ways to do this but uh in just in terms of them taking long to breed and long to mature as well it is probably better just to do this with a looting uh with a looting weapon since it's not an easy farm, unfortunately I can't automate it more than this. They are, well, they need to be hand-fed, unfortunately, is the thing. Otherwise, I would love to automate this, but sadly, no such possibility. I will be looking into making videos for all the other farmable mobs as well. So, keep your eyes peeled on my channel. I'm going to be try I'm trying to do a farm for, I set myself, a uh, personal little mission. I'm going to try and do a video for every farmable creature within Craft, And no real reason, I just want to do that. <laughs> anyway, I am rambling as usual. Anyway, I hope you guys found that helpful, useful, blah, 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 all that. Um, like and subscribe. Nah. <laughs> yeah, you know, the classic like and subscribe and all that kinds of stuff. But apart from that, hope you guys have an awesome day, found this useful. And that's about it. Ha. This is Zergus saying happy hour crafting and have a good day or night, whichever. Bye bye!